What's up everyone, Big Dan here, and today we're going to talk about this Asari Huntress, the Reapers, and Joker's sister in Mass Effect 3. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, consider subscribing. Most of us associate the lovable Normandy pilot Joker with lighthearted times and comic relief, but in Mass Effect 3, Joker is connected to one of the most tragic stories in the game that most players will surely miss. It involves a Reaper attack, Joker's sister, and an Asari Huntress on the Citadel. We first learn about Joker's family during the blowout fight between him and Shepard after Priority Thessia. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? You're a damn good pilot, Joker. And I put up with a lot because of that. But we're in the middle of a war. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. Later on, we can overhear Liara providing some details about the evacuation of this colony. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname she's had it since... Uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Joker's sister is named Hillary. Keep that in mind for the rest of the video. This information is just the tip of the iceberg. We can learn the full story of what happened to Joker's sister from a conversation between two Asari in Huerta Memorial Hospital. These two will show up early in the game, and there are eight different conversations you can listen in on. You must catch them all before Priority Thessia, when these characters will disappear from the Citadel, which is a big reason most players will probably miss out on this story. The Asari Huntress describes her first meeting with the farm girl. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <sighs> Pretty much, yeah. The next two conversations describe a Reaper attack on the colony. Someone the Asari recognized had been converted into a Banshee and started killing the human farmers. She's got this... glow. And the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out, her eyes go black, and she touches one of the farmers, and he just dies. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun, and husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. The Huntress managed to escape with the farm girl, and they fought off some husks while waiting for evacuation. However, they soon realized that no rescue was coming, and so they decided to return to the farm to radio for help. They discovered that the Reapers had taken human prisoners. There were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neira was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within ten meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded? Naira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. The humans were in the way, attacking us. 
I used my biotics. Flung them around. I... I'd been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but goddess, I ripped them in half. The Huntress and the farm girl managed to get away and hide in a barn, but the farm girl was badly injured. They must have searched for you. I'm an sorry Huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering. And then I ran. I saw her through a hole in the woods. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. And Hillary, the farm girl, she couldn't stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? You saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary... Oh, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Ayra. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Or... Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. To recap... Reapers attacked the colony of Tiptree, where Joker's sister and father lived. Joker's sister and an Asari huntress managed to escape the initial attack, but had to return to the farm to radio for help. When they went back, they discovered indoctrinated human prisoners, and the Asari killed them to defend herself and Hillary. They managed to get away and hide in a barn, but Hillary broke her leg and was unable to stay silent through the pain. Fearing that Hillary's crying would alert the Banshee, the Asari Huntress killed Joker's sister and managed to stay out of sight until she could be evacuated. She blamed herself for not being able to defend the colonists because she didn't have her gun with her when the attack started. As a final request, she asked the Asari Psych Counselor for a gun, which is a request that you can grant at the Spectre Terminal. But beware, because if you grant this request, the Asari Huntress will commit suicide and lower the score of the Citadel Defense Force. Doctors at Huerta Memorial Hospital were discouraged by their failure to prevent the suicide of an Asari commando in their care. This is an all-around tragic story. Joker lost his family and wasn't able to say goodbye, and he didn't even know that it had happened. The Asari Huntress was trying to survive, but took some extreme actions to defend herself against the Reapers. She was clearly horrified by her own actions and driven to suicide if given the chance. So there you have it the fate of Joker's sister in Mass Effect 3. Even though this one is a real downer, I like that Bioware added all of these mini stories and conversations for us to find. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya!